If you want to publish a story, you need to understand the document tab. So let's take a look at how to use it right. As an example, I've started to create a fake story about french fries. So let's see how we can properly publish this. You'll find the document tab on the top right next to design and checklist. The document tab has five submenus, status and visibility, publishing, story description, permalink and page advancement. In this menu on the top, you can see the status of your web story. If you want to share something internally, you can set it to private. And if you've published your story, it will be set to public. But don't worry, you can't accidentally publish your story by clicking here. You'll always have to do a second click by clicking on the purple button here on the top. Right below status and visibility are the menus publishing and story description. In the publishing menu, you can upload your poster image. And the poster image is for your web story what the magazine cover is for a magazine. The first thing that users will see from your story on Google Discover or social media. You should use an image that is at least 640 by 853 pixels large and maintain an aspect ratio of 3 by 4. And to add it to your story, you have to simply click on this here and you can select the files from your computer. I have a file prepared and it's a wonderful and mouth-watering photo of some ketchup and french fries. You also should upload a publisher logo and that is going to be displayed on Google Discover as well. You can see that I already have uploaded our Google Web Creators logo here. You can upload your own logo the same way I just uploaded a cover image. Now that we've added poster image and publisher icon, let's move on to the story description. The description is important because stories with a description tend to do better on search and reach a wider audience. So let's make sure that your story can be found by typing in a great description. What is the story about? Fries are great. Let's marvel at a few mouth-watering fry pictures together. Fantastic. Let's move on. Next up is the permalink. And the permalink is automatically added to your story when you add a title for the first time. However, be aware that if you end up switching the title in the editing process, you'll need to adjust the permalink as well. And you can see that's what happened here. I had a different title in the beginning and now I decided to do a story about fries. So I'll change the permalink to something fry related. Now, you don't have to use the title of your story, but it can improve the SEO of your story and it is nice if you can already grasp the topic of the web story by just reading the slug. And finally, in the last menu, you can determine if your story pages should advance automatically or if the reader has to tap to advance. When you choose auto advance, you can adjust the duration of the page display. By default, it's set to seven seconds and if you end up having a video on a page that runs longer than the duration you set, the page won't advance until the whole video has played. And that is the document tab for you. I hope this was helpful and have fun publishing web stories.